of high school would you expect the kids of the rich and famous to attend? Well, they don't serve caviar in the cafeteria and they don't have Perrier dispensers in the hallways. But what we discover just might surprise you. See for yourself. Just a typical day of school in any town USA? No, this isn't just any school. It's not just any town. This is Beverly Hills High. Sitting on two and a third lush acres of prime real estate in America's most famous community, Beverly Hills High boasts one of the country's most outstanding academic records, as well as a lengthy list of celebrity alumni. In fact, with so much in its favor, you'd think they would have plenty to cheer about. But the students and faculty members insist that all too often, they get a bum rap. When they say, oh, you're from Beverly Hills, does that mean that you, you drive your Rolls Royce or somebody drives the Rolls Royce for you to school and they pick you up? That's, that's a bunch of baloney. You will, however, find a large section of the student body arriving each morning in luxury automobiles. Students may not pay for their lunch with platinum charge cards, but it doesn't take long to realize that Beverly Hills High is one of a kind. Principal Saul Levine says that most stereotypes about the school are grossly exaggerated. When you think of Beverly Hills, sometimes uh, all kinds of images come to mind. And we immediately assume that uh, all people within a community uh, fit that mental image. Now, I think any high school is going to have its stereotypes. Uh, you know, the computer whiz, the jock, or you know, Mr. Popular, or whatever you want to uh, classify them. What does stand out about Beverly Hills High is its academic record. The SAT scores here rank among the nation's highest. 92% of all graduates go on to college, and it's easy to see why. Every student is required to learn computers. Future astronomers study in the school's full-scale planetarium, and students with interests in the media even produce and host their own newscasts. And all of that is made possible by uh, an outstanding teaching staff, uh, very, a very strong student body, and a very supportive uh, community. How many high schools can boast classes in robotics? King Donald Dales, King Donald Dales. Some of the students here are quite astounding. 16-year-old Mark Millett has been a computer buff since age nine. This one doesn't have very much vision capability. The only detection it has is if there's a block in between or not. Possibly we can build something that will allow it to have vision, but that requires the interpretation of that. If your future sights are set on exploring distant galaxies, you can even design your own space station. These box-like structures that you see here are the uh, truss structures, hold everything else together. These rectangular panels that you see here take power from the sun. And you won't hear any scratchy old records when you listen in on the campus radio station. Here you get the top tunes on state-of-the-art compact discs. We've made the transition this year to a compact disc. So, like, the DJs all bring in their own music. And so I like to bring in my compact disc because they sound better, you know, and they're easier to use. I play records once in a while, but not that often. The school has such a good reputation that parents go to extra lengths to get their kids enrolled. One word. I was able to get a permit, and then I was tested, and they um, allowed me to come here back to Beverly. Also, my mom. <laughs> but times have forced change at Beverly Hills High. Despite their excellent academic report card, the school is not without its share of problems. Authorities say that their $2.8 million annual budget just isn't enough to cover expenses. We do have some real serious financial problems at the present time, believe it or not, in all of this uh, uh, beauty that surrounds us. Here's a subsidy most educational institutions can't claim. The school earns an extra $100,000 to $1 million annually from royalties paid on oil drilled on campus property. Their famous swim gym with its motorized basketball court has been rented out as a movie location, and they'll soon be marketing t-shirts and sporting wear, capitalizing on their famous name. Social changes have also become evident. Today, more than 20% of the students are minorities. When I first applied for this position um, 23 years ago, I was the first black teacher at Beverly Hills High School. And young women at Beverly have new attitudes about traditional family roles. I basically see myself as being the provider. After I have a career and I'm very, you know, 
make my own, you know, financially set and everything. I would like to have a family, but that's not a priority in my life right now. Beverly Hills High may have a never-ending battle fighting its silver spoon image, but it also has a lot to be proud of. I, I am proud to say that I go to Beverly and it's truly a great school. Hmm. Boy, that was interesting. Isn't that interesting? It really, I was really surprised because all the, the shots of the kids walking through uh, the hallways, I didn't see anybody carrying any books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's important. They're up here. You, you, it's fine to have all those uh, wonderful teaching aids, but if you don't read, you can't learn. Oh, I think they do have that. Jeez, Roland. That, oh, you're what? really tough I on know. kids. Well, coming up next, we'll be talking with a prolific writer and a popular TV performer who happens to be a cloistered nun. So stay with us. No books? <laughs> Jeez.